What is going on guys, Gig here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a GFX tutorial, and this is like pretty much part one of doing C40 text. Now, um, this is part one actually of my 1K special for GFX tutorial, and I'll be making um, more GFX tutorials, like, I'll be making more GFX tutorials soon, if we can hit 60 likes on this amazing tutorial, I'm going to try to make it amazing though, but so yeah. If you guys will understand what I'm trying to say, I'm trying not to make it as complicated for those who are beginners, so let's get right into it. So, what you want to do is you want to create, for C40 text, you want to go to MoGraph and then MoText, click on that, and now you can see this text, whoa, I was way zoomed in, I didn't expect that, but, alright, I'm just going to write that text in the middle, and then what you want to do is you want to click on the object, change that 45 through 55 range. Then for text, you can name what you want the text to say. Mine's gonna be sign because that's the client's banner I'm gonna use this for. Actually, it's actually a legit client, so that's why. You're, what you want to do is just try to find like a good font. You know, I know it's always hard to find fonts out there because there aren't many good ones, but I thought this one was a good font because I always love this font. It's like the only good font I can pick at the moment. Or you can pick, um, not that font. It'll that font isn't really good um doc 11 and eh, it's okay i'm gonna try to find a new font so game three yeah uh, the thing about game of three is it's a bit too fancy to the point where it's kind of hard to read so i'm gonna try to find one of these so um hmm Gotti? What is that? I thought I said Gotti, but... I blew... Hmm... Maybe this one? Nah, I don't, I'm just... In case... If the client doesn't like it, so what I'm gonna do is just stick with this one at the moment. Center it in the middle, at least, for what I'm doing. What you wanna do now is wanna click on Motex. And go caps. Put these on fill cap. And don't change the radius or anything, unless you want really... You're like really advanced in doing that. Change your fill type to wherever you want. I actually put on engrave because I like engrave. Create new material. And then you want to right click that. And then object soft shadow. So now you want to choose a color. For me, I'm probably going to choose that color because the, here's the first render I actually made for this client. So try always try to make like a theme color. But also desaturate it. So that's kind of of what of a theme color. I'm finding right now, so I think that's good. Yep, that's the same color. Um, that enchantment table was kind of out of place, but it's fine. All right, so that's gonna be color. So, so I'm gonna change that to that, and then create new material. Double click to edit. Right click in an object soft shadow, and I'm gonna make it white or black. It's really your choice, but I'm just gonna make three just in case. So. And most of you guys have been thinking of how you add, um, to call it material, like block materials. I'll get into making that once I just tell you guys how to do this. So now I want to click on C on your keyboard. And then you want to put this on your text. And as you can see that they're not separate. It's not, if you want two colors on a text, not like that. But what I mean is like this. Drag that on. So now I'm going to open up these layers. Click on that. And then change that to C1 or you can change it to R1 which also inverts it like that and I'm gonna try D1 but that doesn't do anything you know you just gotta play around with it but those are usually the codes that you're gonna be looking for so for this instance I'm probably gonna choose um hmm, C1 yeah C1 in my opinion looks better and I'm gonna change this to R1 and yeah I think R1 looks better and then I'm probably gonna make um this like darkish, darkish. I don't know what you call it, but I'm gonna make this instead of black. I'm gonna make it gray, so it's more of a gray theme. Now it's nice because this light room is pretty dark anyway. So yeah, click on that again. Same thing, C1 or R1, which I think in my opinion R1 looks better. So I'm gonna stick with that. And then for the last one, I'm probably gonna put. I was in the same one, so R1, hmm. 
just render it out real quick just to see what it looks like because I always want to test it out before you like legit render because what if it takes you if you have a bad PC and then it takes you 10 years to render so I'm just gonna put it like that and see what it looks like all right this is a pretty nice pretty nice light room not gonna lie and text so pretty much what we're gonna do for the blocks is there's no way you and a lot of people have been wanting to know how to make these blocks okay i'm just gonna duplicate that real quick and then i'm gonna put it here so so what you want to do now is you want to uh select all these wait i'm just gonna change this real quick the heck Okay, whatever, but I was just playing around. Delete those. Well, this is just how to add the text or block textures. So for blocks, I'm, I'm gonna try to try my best to like remember to make this a uh, media fire download for you guys, so you can just choose a texture. And if you don't want this block or anything, you can just click on delete. Simply click on delete, and now you can get this. Now, I wouldn't recommend using um, Minecraft textures on the point with i don't know what you remember to fill the cap stuff on engrave mode because this adds this outline which looks really bad but you, i know you can change like the outline thing hold on to r1 or c1 but the thing is it doesn't really look as good as just not even doing that at all anyway so you can just add multiple stuff like you guys do and you can also add, import other blocks and you guys get the point of what I'm doing right now, right? So, you can do that if you want to. And then you can just drag that texture on. And then, I don't know. You know, just similar, something similar to that. And you can see these two different types. But for this banner, I'm going to make it just regular like this. Because, in my opinion, it fits really well. So, yeah. Or you can actually just put the block inside. Which I just noticed. Maybe I can try. So, put this C1. But yeah, I think this is like switching the white outline. Yeah. Hmm. Which one looks better, guys? I don't. I know I'm not streaming, so I think yeah, that one. And then try putting that one as well. Hmm. Ew. Never put it blocks on R1 because it just doesn't really look good in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Unless you guys have a different opinion than me, then I'm also fine with that. Hmm. R1. Oh yeah, I never put it on R1 when I actually still put it on R1. Okay, C1. What I think, in my opinion, is hmm. Let's try rendering this out and see what this looks like. So there's more spam in a Skype. I also wrote it no calling. I should just put, don't put myself on that disturb just in case something something important. And I think this looks sick at the moment, and it does really look good in my opinion, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And you can delete these textures anytime, so it's, that's something easy, simple. So yeah, um, pretty much you can't really change the font once you click on the C on your keyboard, which is editing mode, so which is kinda, you know, it's kinda bad where you can't change it back into a regular mode, but whatever, it's all fine. So what we wanna do next is I'm just gonna take the blocks thing. I usually add blocks to my things. I'm not sure if you guys do under the text and stuff. It depends what you want to do. But in my opinion, I'm gonna try adding since it's like blue style. I'm gonna try adding a lapis block or something related to ice. So, glaze. They call it glaziness. Okay. Um, I'm gonna maybe add diamond block, something like that, and then, um. And then just gonna have to find other things. I don't think I need, yeah, I just need the blocks. <laughs> but I think all I'm gonna do is, hmm, maybe put a chest somewhere. I'm just importing the blocks right now. They're, I know they're really out of place. Just, I'm just trying to find the ones just in case if I wanna use them. You know, you wa always wanna be just in case. Never want to like accidentally, okay, sick. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, sweat, sweet. I said sweat. I do sweat, man. No, I'm kidding. I usually want to put the chest in first because that's the easy part. So, click on W. Just switches to the 
world axis because you see they're different and oh we had w okay and then i'm gonna try my opinion i'm gonna make this smaller so you can change it here wait i think here i don't remember uh, i guess there doesn't work so i'm just gonna change it here size and now you know you some of you guys change it here but i don't like doing it that way it's slow so yeah gonna you can just scroll and find a matching one so 0.83 let's try that if you don't know what decimals are you're probably gonna have to learn from school <laughs> lol but i believe most of you guys should know what decimals are it's pretty straightforward all right and this chest isn't really advanced so i'm just gonna like have to try to place it incorrectly okay nice i thought i had a chest rig but i guess i didn't but oh well, i'm gonna get a advanced one soon anyway maybe probably most likely after this tutorial to be honest okay just wanna put it like that and then you wanna put it anywhere you want where sometimes it just doesn't fit the banner and that's why i'm or the text i should say so that's why i should just leave it there at the moment because i think there's somewhere else i should place this so i'm just gonna click on these two red dots just looking at espresso okay and i'm gonna put on let's see we're gonna try to find a good color which one should, looks better lapis I think it's a bit too dark the color, so now let's go to the okay, not iron girl right now. Diamond block. Hmm. It might fit on some. I don't know. We're gonna see the other one. Snow block. Okay, this definitely fits under that Y. So I'm gonna put that under that. There you go. And um let's see what this is. Okay, I'm not so sure if this really fits the colors on here, but maybe. Okay. Sweet. You put the blocks under and something you relate to. Uh, this is a hard decision. You know what? I think I got an idea now. I'm going to stick with one color, which I'm going to choose wisely, which I think, to be, to be honest, this fits. So what I'm going to do is pretty much... Diamond block, um, I think that's right. You know what, I'm just gonna move these guys over here, because just in case, you don't want to do it again. It kind of gets annoying, so that's why I okay, got an idea now. You just have to find ideas, you know, or just be original like some people that don't copy, aka Ben, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, but pretty much, I'm gonna try to place this in, and yeah. So I think I'm about done with the text and you know the creativity you just gotta play around with the things again as I say but um I'm just gonna I think I should add something like something has to be there that's just something my brain's thinking so what I think should be placed now is the chest hmm should I place it like somewhere above something 
I don't know. It's your choice where you want to put it, but I think, in my opinion, you know, I'm just gonna change these coordinates so they they actually work. Oh, so that's where you open and close it. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh, so it was a uh, the advanced one. Lol. All right, so I'm gonna change this back then. Mm. No, no, not that. What the heck? Okay, and then I think it's a top that's out of place. The heck? I'm gonna try my best. Alright, that's okay, I guess. Looks kind of Squidward. I don't even know what I'm saying, but I think that's it. Alright, well, I guess I can change it, because I just noticed I could. Alright. And then, yeah, that's it. So, pretty much, I think I'm just, like, needing some type of thinking time right now to place this correctly. I think the best placement for that right now is here. It's kind of like presenting and stage, you know. All right, world axis, sick. And so, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this, um, like Signal 4040 text tutorial. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want to see more, make sure to help me reach that 60 likes goal. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.